guys, I'm Karen Akonowitz from Fox the Night in Boston, and I am here to teach you how to make my baked ziti. This is what my mom used to make for us when we were kids. It was one of our favorite dishes, and it's still something that I make for my family, for my spouse, for my in-laws. It's something that everybody loves. It's always a crowd favorite. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and make our tomato basil sauce. And this sauce is really, really, really a workhorse in my kitchen at home and at the restaurant. Um, I use this for baked pastas, I use it for chicken parm, I use it for eggplant parm. Uh, I keep it in the fridge, you can freeze it. I usually make a really big batch of it so that we always have some ready to go. We are gonna start out by slicing two cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna make this in a, uh, a heavy bottom pot, adding a quarter of a cup of olive oil to the pan. My two cloves of sliced garlic. I'm going to drain my San Marzano tomatoes, and I drain the juice out first. And I use whole peeled tomatoes, but if you can only find, sometimes I can only find crushed tomatoes, sometimes I can't find the San Marzano kind, you can really use whatever you want. I'm just going to sort of crush them by hand. Our garlic is just starting to brown, and I'm gonna add my salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my hand crushed tomatoes. Now that's a beautiful sight, I love to hear that. We're gonna let this simmer for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep it at sort of a medium high heat. I'm gonna make sure that I have my boiling water on. If you are waiting for your water to come up to boil, if you're not quite boiling yet, and make sure you have a big, nice, rolling, happy boil, I suggest that you pour yourself a glass of wine while you're waiting because that's exactly what you want with your baked pasta. So cheers, salute, Sicily, and enjoy your wine while your water boils. Mm. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna salt my water. I'm putting in two nice big pinches of, and a little bit more of kosher salt. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my penne regate into the boiling water. And we're only gonna cook this for two minutes. We have our sauce that we are going to finish. I love recipes that sort of are the perfect timing. I love to call them perfect recipes. So by the time that you're done with this sauce, your pasta is going to be ready. Now, this is kind of the secret ingredient, is I'm adding a tablespoon of white miso. I'm also adding a little bit of butter as well. I'm going to turn off the heat on the sauce so it's not boiling. I just don't want you to splash yourself. And I'm going to blend it directly into the pot. My garlic's gonna get a little bit emulsified in. You'll see the butter and the miso. Change the color of the sauce from kind of red to almost orange. I'm gonna leave the sauce here to just hang out off the heat and I'm going to drain my pasta. I just keep a colander over the sink. Then I just give it a little cold water shower. Now, I'm basically you don't have to do this, but this is gonna stop the pasta from cooking. Now while that hangs out, our sauce is done, our pasta's cooked, it's not cooking anymore, it's cooling down in the, in the sink, we are going to make our ricotta filling. So I'm gonna take 16 ounces of ricotta, add breadcrumbs, I'm gonna add two eggs, about two tablespoons of Parmigiano Reggiano, I'm gonna add some shredded, just regular shredded mozzarella, and I'm gonna mix that all together. So now I'm gonna take the pasta. And remember, I the recipe calls for half a pound and I did a full pound, so I'm gonna add about half of that here. And I'm gonna mix this together. The best way to do this is to just use your hands. Not the neatest way, but this is gonna make sure that all of that, the pasta gets nice and mixed in with the cheese mixture, the last thing we're gonna do to the sauce is we're gonna add our basil. I wait till the end to add the basil because I want it to wilt into the sauce, but I don't want to kind of cook it until it turns black. Anytime you're adding fresh herbs, you really kind of want to wait until the last minute so they retain as much of their flavor and color as possible. And we're gonna build. I'm gonna add about half of the sauce to the bottom of the dish. I'm gonna layer in Ahead. 
ladle that sauce right back on top. So this is sort of, I, I think about it as like lazy lasagna, kind of. Um, so you get all of that delicious like baked cheese and pasta flavor without quite as much of the work, um, which I like a lot. So now we have the sauce layered on the top and layered on the bottom. I'm gonna sprinkle some shredded mozzarella. I am going to go ahead and add breadcrumbs. And we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees. So we cook the pasta as quickly as possible, right? We don't want it like hanging out and getting really like loose. And we get that like nice, hard, crispy, cheesy top. I'm gonna go ahead and add dried oregano. A little bit more Parmesan Reggiano. I love a little bit of fresh parsley on top of any sort of baked dish. All right, now we've preheated our oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna pop it in. We're gonna bake it for half an hour. So if you're like me, you've peeked into the oven like no less than five times to see how your baked ziti's coming along. And this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. crispy on the top and we're bubbly and cheesy. And this is exactly what we want it to look like. We cooked it at a high temp, so all of that cheese is nice and melted. Like, this is the piece you wanna like. Just that, that's the chef's corner right there. I love, a, I'm, a, I'm a corner piece kind of girl. Oh my God. That is exactly what I want. Mmm, that is so good. To me, this tastes like my childhood. This tastes like growing up in New Jersey. This tastes like being a kid. This is so nostalgic for me. And I think that's one of the reasons I love to make it so much and share with people. And I hope it feels a little bit like that for you. And I hope you love making it for your friends or your family or just for yourself. Um, for the recipe for my baked ziti, click the link below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming over and have an awesome week. Cheers. Sicily, salute.